You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Single Ladies After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Single Ladies After Show. Is that... <laughs> Brian, yeah. what are you on over there? This does it to me. I don't know. Oh! What is, is that the Ric Flair? It's just like, it takes my body. It's it. It just takes over. <laughs> Little job of what? What up, y'all? What yeah. up? What up? What up? Yeah! I love it. You know we getting it hype, man. This is the hottest show on VH1. Welcome back to Single Ladies, the after show. Welcome. I got my friends in the building. Hola. But I got to introduce myself first. I am your, the one and only Rockin' Glock in the building. You know what I mean? Representing. Yes. Nice. Start from my right, though. Give it to him. Brian S. Knight. Hola. What up? Keisha Olander. And I am Keisha. Can I give myself a nickname? Yeah. Can I be the video vixen? I don't know if you want that. <laughs> Listen, don't all of your nicknames have been just absolutely incorrect. For your, your real personality. <laughs> totally incorrect. I, don't know. I just liked it from the show. Okay. Just what that video means. fixing. <laughs> That's like a, a code name for... Uh, anyway, we're going to say... We can uh, keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Single ladies after show, video vixen, rock and glog in the building. We're about to get it cracking. <laughs> and uh, 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 this is episode eight, man. The title is Ask Me No Questions. And uh, that doesn't apply to y'all. Make sure you ask plenty of questions yes. when y'all are tweeting and, and when you guys are following us. Thank you guys for following us and sticking with us. Stick around. A lot of you guys out there have been hanging with us from the beginning, and we love y'all. I just want y'all to know. So we're pretty excited. I, I mean, last week, the episode was so dramatic in the, uh, in the changes. It was, like, mind-blowing. The, uh, the Raquel Karen, Terrence kiss you know, the, the re revelation of Naomi and Malcolm actually working mm. together. Yeah. So uh, this week they're kind of like playing out all of those different uh, rabbit holes that we started down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go down the, that first one I was talking about. Raquel and Terrence, mm. they have now officially kissed. And I'm not sure. Broken the seal. I thought, I thought after the kiss, Terrence did exactly what he should have. Uh -huh. He shut it down. All the way down. All the way down. She was broken. I think I think the phrase you used I'm was surprised. iced her out. <laughs> she iced her I out. I love that. Yeah, he did. It was it was ice cold. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm she shocked. was shocked. Were you? <laughs> I am. You thought right after the kiss they would just go right into I figure if anything, Raquel would do that to to Terrence. But remember now, she had tried she'd done that. Yeah. Early on. Mm hmm And then she he kinda played it correctly. He he didn't do anything about it. He stayed his ground and she finally just burst it at the mm. seams i don't know i i love how uh how terrence just have a different chick for every day of the week you know what i mean like if it's monday, monday if it's monday oh. it's my asian chick if it's tuesday it's my jamaican <laughs> mommy if it's wednesday yeah what, what yeah. did jay-z say i love girls 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 <laughs> I do, I do. Yo, I was thinking about a movie paid in full with uh, Dane Dash, and he said, yo, this is my, this is my Wednesday car. See me on Saturday. I'm going to be in my Saturday car. <laughs> I love it. Paid in oh. full. Shout out to uh, Makai Fife, the homie. Oh, I love that movie. But that yeah. That sucks. So if he anything, I'd want to be like the, the weekend chick, you know? That's yeah. what we were saying last week. Oh, you were? The weekend oh. chick is like the big money. Yeah. 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 Like you're off work. You got nothing to do. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I'd want oh, you got the Saturday spot. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. how I get promoted. Yeah, that's a promotion. <laughs> there are some things that you're gonna have to do. <laughs> um, you can get promoted. I actually flipped it last week, and I said because we live in LA, um, the during the week check may be the the more important. That's your main because we don't have. Mm. Yeah, you know, weekend is like yeah, it's whatever. You don't even want to go out on the weekend. Yeah. It's like all the normal people go out on the weekend. Yeah. It's too crowded. It's too busy. If you out on the weekday, yeah. 
That's when the pop in LA parties are happening. That's when the who's who and what's Celebrities what is houses. out. I just yeah. want to get one day a week from someone. <laughs> I don't care what day it is. Can I just get one day? Shout out to one Keisha day. Ava. You can find her on Instagram. <laughs> she looking for a one day just a week one guy. Day. Give her a day. I just know there's a guy day. out there that can commit Somebody one day. Got a Even day. like breakfast or something. Is it, is, it fair to, coffee? is it fair to say that they could just pick a day to be available? Yes. Yes. I am free every day. Lord. Monday through Sunday. Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday. I love it. Uh, Little yes, John. Yes. That, hilarious though. I, you guys talking about days of the week, dating guys. Yeah. And uh, Raquel and April, just really quickly, I wanted to touch on, uh, they kind of had a little dialogue about... What happened uh, to dating. What happened to dating. Yeah. And I was wondering, I'm sitting here with two beautiful ladies, and I'm going... Single. Single. Do y'all feel the same way? What happened to dating? What happened to dating? What happened to dating? She said it was replaced by the hookup culture. Which is very true. It was replaced by days of the week. Mm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well... Well, As a did, man, if you can have a different girl for every day of the week, I, that's kind of hard to beat. Yeah, it's hard to beat. That's hard to beat. Yeah. But when you get that real check, that yeah. that one that you can hang out with every day, and you yeah. start, you start like, yeah. hey, must, <laughs> ah. shout out to all the girls that are that ain't second or third, everyday but they first. Chicks. <laughs> the shout out to everyday chicks. I want to yes. be you. Yeah, man, the bottom chicks that's there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah but, what happened to dating? Well, I, I feel like I, I wanted know. to say then, have women killed dating? Oh, no. If anything, guys have definitely killed dating. You're out of your mind. Uh, that's, I, guys have definitely killed dating. How so? Because guys don't ask girls out. can't say what out. and not why. I was just talking about this with my friend. Guys don't ask girls out. Okay. Okay? They don't, they don't have... Um, how do you say balls? And <laughs> how do you say how do you, you say, say balls on this? We, we can say they, balls. They literally, they just, they don't got it. You agree with this? You? Feel? I don't know. I feel like maybe they were a little right on the show when they said social social media killed it. Man, them mm. DMs, yeah. they that killed dating. Direct messages. <laughs> DMs. Yeah. yeah, you know, no, you're right. Tweets, DMs. texts. You know, uh, you know, I gotta say something here. Stephanie. Please you're jump my, in. You're my guy, and I already know <laughs> what side of this you're gonna land on. This is our first disagreement here. I know. Mm. This is heavy. Um, yo, women kill dating. I'm just gonna listen to you because I like your voice. I'm gonna yeah. I'm, I'm gonna start by that. saying not, I agree and let you go. I'm not gonna fully disagree with you either. You know what? You know why? Because guys are simple, mm-hmm. all right? If a guy can do less. And still getting the girl's panties. He's going to. He's going to. Mm-hmm. So by girls having a lower standard mm. of acquirement, mm. then it made it easier for guys to get it. So when that standard's high, hey, it don't matter how high the standard is, that man's gonna climb mountains and move buildings to get in them draws. Right? Literally. That's what guys do. If the standards are low, he's gonna do the bare minimums. That's just what it is. Literally, Grant on the show <laughs> climbed a mountain, yeah. climbed a wall. He's climbing a wall. He climbed he, a wall. Yes, he went rock climbing. He You're went right. Climbing. You're right. So, so that's, that's what it is. The standards by your gender have been lowered, and guys are just like, hey, I just have to. <laughs> I can do whatever I need to do. To if get I can there. send a text and you show up, yo, what's the what point of me trying do? to do something? In else? 1945, to get in some ass? My <laughs> God. What did you have to do to get in it? Because even when she said yes, they, they were wearing like those extra corsets yeah. and bloomers and yeah. other things. You like, baby, yeah. Get the student maybe next time. Yo, get the three piece out, get the top hat out, get the cane out. I can't even untie all this. What yeah. is this? I don't, I don't even know what to say to all this. Hey. I, ladies out I there, mean, real quick. Yeah. Do you think that guys have killed dating? Or have the ladies killed dating? Not just ladies. Guys, tell us too. Yeah. Chime in. I want to know about it. I don't know if it's a gender-specific thing either or if it's just the sign the sign of our times, our culture too. Yeah. And, the, and all of the so- social media, especially texting. Okay. I think that kind of killed dating a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. Getting I, to know each other, you do it more texting, whatever. You, it's very rare where a guy actually calls you. And, and I agree with that, but you have to also understand that texting is just another mode of communication. Yeah. Uh, what did our girl April say? Uh, she said, uh, she was talking about her cookie, her plant flower. She was using uh, something. She said she ate the harness of that on her to cookie. Before there was money, there was a girl's cookie. That was a <laughs> method of payment mm-hmm. in 1802. <laughs> okay? So the power has always been on that Ooh. gender side. So the th- only thing that's changed from then and now was technology and standards. That's the only thing that's changed. Man, 
Well, okay, let me just I'm I'm gonna keep it keep us on track. <laughs> Speaking of cookie though, yeah. Raquel is having a, a tough decision. Grant on paper is um this perfect guy. You know, she's she's actually going back and forth and saying, you know, I don't know if this is the uh the type of guy that I should be dating. And I had an issue with that too. There is yeah. a type of guy you should be dating and then the type of guy you actually go for. Mm. And that type of guy you actually go for is the one that hurts you. Mm. But girls do it anyway. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's the struggle. Yeah. The struggle oh. is real. Y'all need to elaborate. The struggle on. is Speak real. On that Hashtag the struggle, the struggle is real. real. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I love it. I love that. Oh man. So, we don't know nothing about we don't know about that. No. It is because we're, we're guys, either go, or guys go for anything. <laughs> it could be somebody who's in front of you that's so perfect in every way, and you'd be like, "Why am I not feeling something? Yeah. Why? 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 I want to feel mm. the chemistry. I want it because he's a great guy. He's da 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 da. Everything I on want. On paper. Why am I not feeling? But you it? get this that chemistry then it'll with be the bad somebody boy. Else. Yeah, you're feeling, feeling. Try to move away. Try to move away. Try to move away. Why am I feeling that? Right. right? You got. Oh God. This is that's brilliant. See, I, I wow. live my life as. Terrence, uh -huh. and I watched the Grants lose. And that's so what, I could never shake the Terrence. Yeah. So every guy says that. The, the This one guy, he was such a sweet guy. We're not going to name you, sir. I'm not going to name him because I think he watches the show. <laughs> so he was such a sweet guy throughout high school. And then he's like, I literally just became a douchebag and girls came running girls after came me. Running. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, that's horrible. But yet. So true. It is, unfortunately. I mean, Puff started a record label based on bad boys. <laughs> uh, you know, you can, you can build a mountain on being a bad boy. You feel and me? And now all he missed with J-Lo's. You know what yo, I'm saying? Yo, I don't know why that is. a very is. good point. He's had J the baddest. J-Lo was on him. And don't act yeah. like Cassie ain't fire. My God. <laughs> bad boys. I don't know if it's so much the bad boy or that you just, girls like kind of uh, chasing a little bit and... Wanting or you want something you can't have. Well, I think there's that. I mean, my girlfriend always talks about being boring. How boring guys lose, and I think. Uh, All right. You yeah. know what I mean. Boring Girls guys do don't lose. like boring dudes, and guys who, generally speaking, and I'm talking generally, good have guys. some success or good guys are boring. That's what it is. You know what I mean? So I like it's the excitement. excitement. Yeah, and you know, funny. Your guy would wake you up in the middle of the night. Yo, let's go on my motorcycle and let's ride to San Diego. Let's do it. And what's she gonna go? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's also why Ride athletes and and uh, actors, successful actors, yeah, entertainment entertainers. Uh, that's also why they win Exciting. because their life is like Exciting. Tomorrow we could be in Barbados, baby. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like okay, yeah. it's like I, a I bag like of Gardettos. You could get the crunchy one or the soft one or the other one. Because <laughs> <laughs> there is one. another one. <laughs> Or the other one. You don't want to date the other one, though. You like, I don't like the other one. I don't one, know about the other one. You, know, you, you pick around yeah. it. You pick around it. <laughs> so, all right. So she's in this dilemma. But on the on the flip side of the dilemma, here's Terrence. And I'm seeing Terrence. Terrence literally showed up to the, to the house because they're partners. Yeah. What, who did he show up with, though, Steph? His oh, girl. He had the bad little China <laughs> doll with him, dog. The Tuesday. Wednesday chick was yeah, Wednesday. Too. I don't know. Well, I don't know Tuesday, Wednesday. Was. She might have started the... Tuesday and made it to Wednesday. Yeah. You don't oh, know. She got promoted. Because he, he had a different chick in the store with him. Right. You he know sure what I mean? Did. He showed up with a different chick. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Terrence, man. Big shout out to you, brother. Roller. Yes. He's always doing a big. Um, <laughs> Cross Wait, can I say this? Terrence. Yeah, he's ripped. Yeah. Can you say what? Um, that <laughs> girls want a bad boy, but we genuinely want them to be that teddy bear underneath. Right. Like we want them to be good. Keisha's determined I'm to determined. make sure that we know. Anybody got a day for her yet? Yeah, anybody. <laughs> Tuesday! <laughs> Tuesday's taken. That's awesome. Tuesday's, Tuesday's taken. That's awesome. Now, I'm seeing Terrence waver a little bit, though. Cause waver even, like, how do you mean? Well, he, he showed up at the house. He had the bad China doll with him. Yeah. She was like, baby, I'm, hungry, I'm hungry, daddy. Nah, nah, nah. She said, I'm hungry. Just like, just like a bird. <laughs> She's such a bird. All she wants daddy, is a Daddy, take meal. me to Red Lobster, daddy. I need the popcorn <laughs> shirt with the... Stop, Yo, stop, Red stop. Lobster? Food Cheesecake poisoning. factory, daddy. I want to... Biscuits. Stop. <laughs> the cheddar <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> anyway. They eat all the cheddar biscuits. And you know, he going he gonna to go ahead and handle business with that. But his mind and his heart, I, I saw... Still on Raquel. Still on Raquel. Mm. I feel like it's still there. Yeah. Love drunk. Those and Raquel two. definitely is still there. She shut down a, a Grant. Grant. Mm -hmm. She was like, listen, Grant, uh, I could pop kiss you, but. And you know what she talked about is that spark that we were just talking about. She, You know. 
There's no the such end. thing as a spark. It's, yes. Oh my god. There's no Are such thing as a spark. Me? Go ahead. I'm with you. What yeah. you talking about? I I just I think the spark is like a made up thing. It's made up for y'all to feel like oh that spark was there. It it's just the guy and his swag and what he's bringing to the table. Mm, I see. And you're just right, feeling it. I see what you're, you're saying. You're just feeling it. His I see pheromones. What you're saying. You even get scientific, right. but you're just whatever, feeling whatever him. He didn't, yeah. he didn't uh, come in like Evil Knievel on a motorcycle, <laughs> and you were like, oh, my heart went pitter-pat when he came to pick me up. That wasn't it. He was just there, like, even the way he talked to the waiter when y'all went to dinner. He was like, yo, let yeah. me get the, uh, and you was like, I like how you just yeah, I like yeah, how take he control. Ordered that we both going to have the waters. Right. He was like, mm -hmm. I like how you ordered for He going to get it. Yeah. He got it just I, now. You know, I wasn't going to disagree with you, but smart. I actually feel what you're saying. Like, it was this whole package, this whole swag that yeah. got you open. Whereas it's not just a spark. Like, oh, there was a spark or there wasn't. I hear you. Yeah. Grant keeps saying something know. that's bothering me. He keeps saying, you're in control. You're in control. I'm not saying that men should control the woman yeah. at all. But girls like to feel like I am the guy. Yeah. And I, I know where I'm going, whether it's a date or it's life or it's a, a road trip, yeah. anything. But That's why we don't ask for directions because yeah. we like, I don't I know what you're going. Yeah. I know where I'm going. I got to keep you. But yeah. I think that's where Terrence is losing just a little bit because I think the whole reason he shut it down is because he wants the control. Grant can give up the control. You think Terrence is losing? Grant can say, I, I mean, think I think that's losing. where he's not losing, but that's where he, you, he's a little hurt right now. Yeah. He's a little hurt right now. And I think the only reason he iced her out is because he wanted the control. It wasn't because he didn't hmm. want her. Well, he I don't know. The takeaway always wins, though. If you if you take it away. Yeah, that, you just stole the words out of my mouth. I don't know if he's Sorry. I don't know if he's uh losing as in guys function from loss a lot better. Yep. You know what I mean? So he's got his Monday through Sunday chick and then he walks into old girl's house and some other dude's tonguing her down. He's like, "Yo, that was me." And then your your defense mechanisms as a guy are like, "Nah, Mm -hmm. I want that because that's how guys operate. Yes. So I don't know if he's losing. I think okay. I think it's not a it's a power thing. I think that um, Terrence actually really does love love Raquel, and he doesn't feel like he deserves her. And I you think, think it's that's that. it really. I, I do. Huh. Oh, you're I so do. sweet in your heart. If, I don't know if the writers really. Uh... No, I I I somewhat I okay. Now that it said it out <laughs> loud, deep, it doesn't right? sound. <laughs> the writers are watching us now, going. She said, now that I said you're it out loud. You're, you're trying to give away jobs. Like, yeah. I know, I'm sorry. So Terrence, speaking of Terrence, uh, Terrence is kind of in a little uh, crossfire here. He's in some trouble, which I predicted last week. This guy, Deacon, trouble. Deacon. threatens the entire organization. Fed cases. Yeah. Deacon Deacon goes way back. So we find out in this. Shout out to Malik Yoba. Malik New York in the Yoba. Cover. Stepping in and 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 uh, be playing Deacon Man, and thank, doing a heck of a job. Thank God for him. <laughs> yeah, he, he opens by telling Terrence, "You owe me," which is already scary to me. Off top, you owe me. When yeah. you owe like the Godfather, or you owe Suge Knight of Atlanta. If, when you owe Suge Knight, you don't ever want Suge to say you owe me. Right. You, don't want, you want him to say, say we're good now. You want your, your pastor to say you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me. You like I get I get to your Come pastor on Sunday right. and give me some prayers. <laughs> Makes you feel a little what did you say? What did you say about the water? It looks so expensive. You don't want to owe someone who drinks like right. a million dollar water. Who drinks yeah. Voss like yeah. it's nothing. <laughs> he probably bathes in it. Uh, he holy so, water. <laughs> so uh, Malik, uh, Malik, I'm calling Malik Yoba, but uh, Deacon is all up in it now. Yeah, he's uh, he's showing up at indulgence, buying he, two suits, buying mm. two get, and not even leaving with them. I'll have my assistant take him to the that's, to yes. the tailor. Yes. I'll get those tailored up tailored because because they didn't fit per perfectly <laughs> from indulgence. Uh, so he's he's definitely got some stuff going on. He's had his hands in it. We see as Malcolm comes in to uh, to kind of defend Terrence, mm -hmm. which that's that's big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Malcolm's been not proud of Terrence for so long. Uh, and last week, you know, they had the uh, the big unveiling and he's super proud of Terrence now. He's he's take he's getting his back and. He showed up like, yo, leave my little brother alone, you know? Well, I, Old school. I, I think ahead. it's also that Malcolm doesn't want one more thing added onto his plate. And it, like, <laughs> he's about to go to jail. So he doesn't want. Yo, Wait a minute. Is that in predictions? Down, you down, you can't. Down. He's about to be indicted. Indicted. <laughs> Man, she put him in. <laughs> Whoa. Well. <laughs> Guilty until proven innocent. This um, is America, after America. all. America. We're not in Florida, so <laughs> still have a chance. <laughs> Atlanta. You, you may have a chance. Uh, so. No, yeah. So uh, 
Well, he came to his defense. He said, you know, um, he, he basically tried to check uh, a deacon. And uh, Deacon flipped it on him. Yeah. And was like, yo, first off, don't raise your voice in my office. <laughs> Basically. Don Stead. Yeah. Who I am. He said, man, you were sloppy by letting Naomi get to your dad because we've been running this organization. I love that he called it up. He said, it's all about who gets control of the candy store. Yeah. Mm. Talking about the, you know, uh, Frank's Not, Jewels. Yeah. Malcolm he said he him, had control. Malcolm yeah. said, I got it. I got it. Malcolm actually, for once, Looked like he was kind of the peon. Slipping. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He's like, I got it under control. I, I can handle it. I, I've, been, I've been handling it, you know? So leave me alone. Leave me alone. But uh, Deacon is is looming. He's a looming presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was, this was his um, his premiere uh, in this episode. Yeah. Right? That was, this was his uh, yeah. first role. I love the casting of him. He's fantastic. Sure. Right? Isn't he great? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, he really does give presents, right? He's, oh, my. He's a problem. And he doesn't. He hasn't said one foul thing, I don't think, the entire time. No. Not at all. But you know it's coming. But you, you know that his yeah. presence is like, yeah, hey. Which at lets least. you know how great his yeah. acting is. Yeah. He, yeah. He keeps it even kill, and yeah. you're still like, I don't know what this dude might it's do. A problem. Yeah. You know, like he can press a button and the floor opens up. And you just, <laughs> it's tigers. You know, There's sharks. <laughs> I tiger love it. Sharks. Tiger sharks. Oh Whatever. man! It's, oh, rock and Glock. <laughs> rock and Glock, boy. Shout out to Rock and Glock. How do you How do you think he got that nickname, Rock and Glock? Oh, please don't don't make me go into it. Oh. Uh, uh, how do you? I, yeah, I, 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 I want to know. I think he was wild in the streets. Okay. I used to think he used to roam the streets, rock and a Glock. It's very simple. I, I somehow I went to you know he always had the Glock on him and he was the, 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 the dope dealer he, he had, the had the Rock, rock. Okay. and Keisha of course knew that was his street nickname like not these Keisha I mean the show yeah. in the show uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I like knew. one of y'all knew yeah. I, 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 like that, of course she knew what his past is she's a drug is. dealer she definitely knew he, I you know definitely know, I mean? know. I know rock about Rock Rock and a Glock I, yeah. I, I know about Rock that I know about Rock so, wait, I know about Rock paper scissors Rochambeau I got you I got you so um Real quick, just leaving Rock and Glock, which that Lumen presence is going to be there for a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Omar and Felicia. Omar, which I got a lot to say about in predictions, uh, he has now been hired as the head stylist for Felicia. Which I called two weeks ago. You did. This is a show where we love to give credit. Yeah. Where well, credit is where due. Credit she is due. makes sure she receives those credits. <laughs> <laughs> Extra credit. I called it. Uh, <laughs> me. I knew the East was going to beat the West in the All-Star game. <laughs> that was Keisha. Gold star for Keisha Ava. Woo! You know I was that kid in kindergarten that wanted all the gold, gold stars by my name. I think, uh, so Omar's got his dream job, and he's really suffering. Uh, we already knew that uh, Felicia was a diva. We knew she was high maintenance. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm working so for her is a totally different animal. It's 24-7 job. Which she said. Yeah. I have, ankle, I have ankle bracelets in, in my closet. In my closet. In my closet. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I don't know if you guys touched on it last week, but I'm really surprised that Raquel didn't take it harder that Omar was leaving or has left. I did touch on it last week, and okay. I said that Omar will be back yeah. inside of a week or so. I thought it might have been at the end of this episode. Right. But, um, yeah, she I is thought, taking it very lightly. Yeah. I like thought she would take it harder. Yeah. I really did. Yep. Yeah, she said she wants heart. him to shine. Yeah, I was maybe, surprised. Maybe, she maybe has she's a genuine love for him. Yeah. Exactly. She doesn't so want to hold him his back. Employee. And I also think that he's uh he's not he hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> he's like there Still every there, day. Yeah. So, you know, until a person actually is gone from your life and missing, then you start feeling that loss or, you know, that lack. Go back he's, to the take it away. He's always so well dressed Ooh. in that uh I mean, God, the, the wardrobe on the show. Uh, we love you, man. Show wardrobe on this is actually <sighs> some of the best on television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Period. Like yeah. any show. Yeah, they put in work. Yeah. And, I mean, his pants were fantastic. They were like, I don't even know, Paisley's looked like polka dots or something. It was yes. fantastic. Yeah. 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 With the solid the top. top. The solid top. I was like, man, Omar crushing it. Yeah. So um, not only is Raquel taking it light, she actually told Omar, it's about time for you to move on. Mm. Yeah. I need for you, you got to one go foot ahead in, and do one it. One foot out. Which, again, that was shocking to me, too. Mm -hmm. I didn't think she would be uh, big like that. She really is, is taking it well. I'm very surprised, yeah. Taking it well. She's growing. Yeah. Her girl's so. growing up. So Felicia's been uh, really laying it heavy on Omar, which I know 
can't last much longer. I did like um, I put down his body language. I watched Omar's body language yeah. when he came in, and and he kind of made a stand. He was like, "Look, I have a life. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna let you push me around." Yeah. And he he kind of stood up for a second, but then he kind of shrunk again as she told him she had those uh, ankle bracelets in the closet, which is kind of scary. <laughs> she was serious. <laughs> it's a little spooky for you to hear from somebody. What? He's like, wait, you are serious? Like, what? That's you so good? that's so real life though. Sometimes when you be having that dream job and you get in it and you be like. What the it was heck? a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. It was actually. Or that dream relationship oh, ended up being a nightmare. Preach. I, I did that for two years. I was like, what in the hell am I doing? What am I doing? But I can't just leave, right? <laughs> Why? Why couldn't you? How do leave? you just leave? Yeah. There was a nothing wrong. guy's so good at that, being Houdini and just leaving. Guys you know are what? Good at that? Wow. I'm going to take a second. I'll say this. I was in a, in a two year relationship. Go in, tell her. Um, I have. She wasn't my type. Okay, uh-huh. which is insane. All my friends were like, wait. I was like, yeah. Wasn't my type. Yeah. I'm in the relationship, and I'm going, I need to be a <laughs> faithful guy and prove to myself that I can be faithful to a one woman. Right. And that went on for like a year and a half. Well done. Which is great, Yeah. except I did not love her. I was not attracted to her, and I have no idea. Other than proving to myself mm. that I can do it, why I was there, and she and I are still good friends to this day. Yep. Not after it was... she hears this. <laughs> Not after she hears. Oh yeah, this. that's right. It's, it's... Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, boo. <laughs> so but, wait, uh, are you saying you didn't have a spark? There was sparks don't exist. Yeah, we first off, the sparks but there again. wasn't a spark. There All wasn't right. a match. There, there wasn't a star right. shining. Tinder. Nothing. Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god please do not ever, ever ever bring that song up anymore no uh, oh. wait did oh, wait. you say tinder or timber tinder yeah oh, tinder I'm about app. timber my bad oh. about the tinder. Oh, look tinder at you app. single girl tinder app tinder app yeah. all, all about it yeah we no. know find her on tinder no please don't find me on no. tinder. she has sundays through mondays over. <laughs> mondays through and sundays. let me take one more second what aren't these apps just creepy they're a little so bit creepy are they I, I, I think that's a little I mean so uh, speak for yourself about it and maybe <laughs> only reason I like this because Pitbull's on out from Miami so <laughs> big shout out to Pitbull I love Pitbull Pitbull's doing alright for himself yes. I don't know if it's creepy because if you, if you go back uh, people used to put out um uh, date me ads in the paper and uh, yeah. the paper? classifieds. Classifieds. Classifieds was one way people used to hook Saif up. Saif is from the 1940s. That is, that, wow. that, wait, that's, that, that's legit. That's needy. You're going to actually Thank pay you, to be There's, in the paper? It's, not, it's this just another way of communication. It's just, <laughs> like, it's just no, it's These new ones have like. It's just she, the way things he's are. one mile away from you. One mile yeah. away. That's scary. Right. That, yeah, a Tinder bit, right? is scary. Hey. In your location, these are 10 people you can I meet up with right now. I hear in the Olympic right Village, Tinder is on 10. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard in the Olympic Village that there are no more condoms for sale. I'm dead serious. There are no more condoms for sale no. in the Olympic Village. I'm do, dead serious. Do you know what happens when you win a gold medal? <laughs> what happens to your Tinder account? What? Four kids are made. <laughs> what? Four kids to one are you man. Joking me? Oh my god! You know what happens when you meddle and lose <laughs> in the Olympic Village? Come on! Oh my god! Uh, Wait, can uh, have, has what anyone? What happens for the women's hockey though what when is, they medal? Uh, he's going down. <laughs> Grinder. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Wait, can what? I? Can, what about speed dating? <laughs> how, how about that? Has anyone tried that? I had somebody that? bring that up the other day and said they wanted uh, to try it. I want to try it. My homegirl was like, I want a couple other girls to do it with me. Me too. I think somebody it'd be asked fun. me to do it too. Yeah. All right. I mean, why Let's wouldn't you? Right? You get thirty it's seconds with each person, right? Yeah. I would. I would. So, I, I want to do it so bad because I just know I would be winning. I just want to do it. So I can see if I can get point? 10 out of 10. Oh, I'm man. like, did I get 10 out of 10? Oh, Say yes. Yeah. I would never do And then I'm like, listen, I, yeah. I can't, I don't want to date any of y'all. Thank you. I'm I out. Mean, just to God bless y'all. I got y'all. it. I got my points. I got my points. <laughs> and this brings us full pill. circle to did men ruin dating? <laughs> <And laughs> thank you. Men ruined dating. Wow, no, yeah. We may have tainted. Men have tainted <laughs> dating, but we didn't ruin it. So we've tainted dating a bit. Yeah. So so Keisha was a little right. Yeah. Well, speaking of some tainted dating, April and David, oh, which God. I don't even know what to call this. It's sort of a relationship. No, they it went from a situationship into a relationship. Yes. Is David turning a new leaf? 
Well, yeah. I Speak on it. I don't know. I, I'm like, why are you being so nice? Normally, I would say that he has something up his sleeve that he wants to like, take down April, but I don't know this time. Yeah. yeah. That's so, what I thought he was doing until he actually admitted it in front of Felicia. That was big. That's why I'm like, is he turning like, a new oh, leaf? Well, he was completely right. vulnerable. Uh, is he or is he just trying to get in her pants again? He's still yeah, waiting in the conference room. Oh, I, yeah, I don't is. know if it's getting her pants because I think he can do it at any time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Drop of a hat. Yeah. Um, I think he needed to be vulnerable. He's a chess player. Mm-hmm. He needed to be vulnerable because he was going to lose. Sergio. He, he hasn't been. Sergio, he couldn't get. Uh, he hasn't been doing his, doing well at his job. Yeah. So he's losing and he knows if I bring hot blonde in. Yeah. I can pick myself back so up, raise my stock. He's just playing chess. Of course. Yeah. Wow. Of course. My, She's a pawn. Again, you might be reading into the writing a little much. <laughs> <laughs> Writers. That's great. Che- we need to use a chess reference. It's chess reference. <laughs> They yeah. love our show. Yeah. The writers love our show. You're Shout welcome. out to the writers. You're welcome. Yes, you're Shout welcome. Out to the writers. Oh, oh man. So um, yeah, no, April is a she she's a, she's so easy. Dang it. In every sense. Yeah. She, such a pushover. <laughs> such a pushover. She's so easy, man. Yeah. Uh, he showed a little bit of vulnerability. I wrote that she's she was melting, of course. And he said something that I think tell me if I'm wrong, ladies. If a man says to you that you already have something for if he says, you know, I realize that I'm capable of growth, <laughs> meaning it's you, what you've done has, has influenced his growth, mm. wouldn't that get you every time? Panty dropper. God. I shall not speak until y'all speak. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wouldn't get Why you. Why not? Come on. I, don't, I think girls I think always that, are trying to to raise their guy. Are you kidding me? Girls are always trying to change change a guy. Always. 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 Mm-hmm. So I think if you, if a guy attributes growth to you, it's like mm, gold star for me. Yeah, well, I think so. even even <laughs> it's gold, gold star. Day again for, for the credit. Again for the credit. Uh, again for again, you. Gold star. I want to see you in, in a in middle a school. No, in middle school. Why? She's like, no, no. I, I was I, the one who said that. That I, wasn't. That was, that was not you. I told you guys it was gonna rain today, and you should wear your galoshes. <laughs> I, I bet your mom loved it. Oh my goodness. Oh, my family hated me. So vulnerability is that all a guy needs to show? Yes, I think that's like a humbleness, and. Um, yeah, a vul- I can't even say it. How do you say the word? Vul- vul- vulnerability. vulnerability yeah. yeah, that that word. It's very <laughs> it's very attractive. Yeah. So when yeah. At, what, like okay, maybe at first a guy's like all you know, a little prideful, a little cocky, sweet, funny, but then when he shows that, I don't know. I like it. I I, I would love to see the type of guys you're dating. <laughs> I'm not. This is a lot. So apparently, I just. Went. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Did you spit just now? Uh, did I you catch it? it? Good. Some ninja you know, skill. They, you know they're they're kind of cute. Uh, you know at the at the. Quiet, no, I'm I, not dating anyone. So apparently I suck at what I just said. So we'll, I retract. We'll help you out. When they're cute Tinder. and all, you know, Tinder. They're cute and all, but I mean, they're like the coin opposite of the most disgusting couple. Can we just talk about the most disgusting, reprehensible couple on the show for a moment? Which are uh, Ugh, Naomi oh, and Sean. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're like, uh, they're I so can't. disgusting. Because it doesn't fit. It, it don't not, even feel good, does it's, it? It's opportunistic. It's, 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 it's just visually dirty. unappealing. It's dirty. I can't even think of another euphemism for, for disgusting. You just know that they're using each other. Yeah. Uh, maybe not so much. Sean's not using her for anything except for sex. But like Naomi is just... Such a She's such an opportunistic, dirty, thirsty con. Just caught I think in the he Middle is using East. her for a little more than sex. I think really? he is using her, and he is happy. Besides helping her as his client, that's why he's pushing so hard to bring Malcolm down. What do you think? He's uh, still in a race for Keisha. Oh, that's right. He's that's yeah, such a good point. I let you say it. I was going to say it. You said it. I agree. Very good point. What did he say? Keisha, there's something different about her. I've never met anyone like her. Yep. Yeah. While you're in and bed. And that's that's <laughs> in while bed. You're in bed. <laughs> but you it's not. Finished? It's not what he said. It's how he said it. Yeah. It's definitely how he said Disgustingly. it. Disgustingly. Not to mention, he also questioned if she really was married to Malcolm's dad. Yeah. His He's lawyer. like, so wait. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Not he doesn't a, believe. Not that we boned, and it's morning. You know. Yeah. Morning. Did after. you really? Uh, I've been running this whole case, you know, last couple months. <laughs> you know. Did you really marry him? How was she paying for those lawyer fees? 
How is she? Pissed? Come on. <laughs> come on. First off, come on. <laughs> come on. She's the queen bee uh, God. of paying for her lawyer fees through her legs. I did and it all for the back side. Pro bono. <laughs> Pro bono. <laughs> but her lease is up at the end of the month. Are we going to see her? She on did the mention that that her that her, that her lease it? was up. But I think oh, again, God. when you think about strategic birds, yeah, these days, the the they drop the hint Ugh. of the lease being up, Blech. and that's just to put in your mind. Oh yeah, her lease is up. I gotta make sure I I'm look out here. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right, it's check. Take care. Blech. I got mm. you, baby. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. I got you, boo. Yeah. Yeah. So you say she already went fishing for that? Oh yeah. She's listen. If you think. Uh, 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 what's his name is playing chess? Uh, David. Yeah. Naomi is the sensei of chess. She, she is. She's playing. She's Nazi. the godfather of chess. She's got all her little pawns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's killing people. Each one: Terrence, Keisha, Malcolm, right. Sean. She's got them all. She's the puppet master. Yeah. I just realized that. She's got everybody. Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. Oh God. Because remember last episode, Malcolm, come pay the piper. Play in the puppetry. <laughs> Let me pull those strings. When she met up with Keisha, right. Keisha was out of character a little bit. She was, yeah, she was a little thrown off. She was like, nothing uh-oh, throws off check. Keisha. Right. Nothing throws off Naomi, except she, maybe Deacon. No, Naomi throws off Keisha. Yeah. Naomi does throw off yeah. Keisha. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely they met their match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She, okay, that's when she called her a video vixen. Yeah. Which is which you you've now taken over yeah. the title. It's not a good thing. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Deacon's no. gonna have to step in. To- I don't know it's what Deacon's going to do, but I think we can talk a little bit about it in some predictions. Your After Buzz <laughs> TV predictions. Am I setting this Man, up? that was quick. That yeah. was fast. That seemed faster than last time. <laughs> we were waiting yeah, for Thank more. you. There it is. Uh, I missed the Twilight Zone. Your After Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> oh, I love the lighting. Shout out to Steven in the back room. Thank you. I think yes. I'm going to watch War of the Worlds after this. Yeah. Oh. I, I can't watch that movie. The Tom Cruise one or the original? The Tom Cruise one. The original is fantastic. Ooh, I want to watch a good thriller after this. Yeah, the Tom it's, Cruise it's really one. I, I, Dakota <laughs> screaming. Tom. Yeah, the first one is it's it's a classic. Ah, uh, okay. I'll trust okay. you because I do I do trust your taste. <laughs> um, yeah, whoever wants to start it off, what you got? I think that David and April are gonna try the dating scene, like actually, literally try a relationship. Really, mm-hmm. I agree. Wow. I agree. Before the end of this season. They will be together. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. That's I gold. Agree. I know, but I'm normally right. Extra credit. We need a gold <laughs> star, star special effect for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally joking. Uh, y'all got yeah. some of you? Eh, eh? Mm. Hmm. What are you thinking? I mean, you already said it. My main one was o- Omar. You thought it was going to be at the end of this episode, but he's going back. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. I, I did think it was at the end of this episode because Felicia was pouring it on so thick. But um, but I, I think that he's going to go back, but I don't think he's going to stay. I don't think he's going to go back to Felicia. I think he's going to start his own because he's, hmm. he's talented and he's got – he now he's got a little taste of what he can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a normal world, I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> in a normal world right yeah but I feel like if he does start his own uh, they would have to write him out the show or something yeah you know, are they capable of <laughs> <laughs> don't write Omar out the show no no no, no. okay because I'll oh, stay. you know I'll yeah. yeah. never do that <laughs> trust Omar can never fans leave will be standing show. outside yeah. like we're p- like, picking z- sides never yeah never shoot shoot alright so anyway we know that uh, uh, Deacon is going to be the looming presence. That's going to be my prediction. Yeah. Deacon's going to get all up in everybody's everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm going to agree with you. My pre- my uh, prediction was that Deacon is going to be a game changer for the show. Yeah. Absolutely. Shout out to Malik Yoba again. Anyway, thank y'all for hanging with us. I'm thank your boy, you. Stefan. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Instagram at Stefan. Or if you do the Twitter thing, I am more fire. Holla. Instagram at Keisha, K-E-I-S-H-A, Ava, A-V-A. Uh, Instagram at S-A-I-F-M-J-2-1-0. Instagram at Keisha Olander, K-E-E-S-H-A-O-L-A-N-D-E-R. Yeah. Don't miss an episode. We always got something hot to talk to you about. And uh, we love y'all and thank y'all for being with us. Single ladies out. Whoop. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. 
I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.